No one's here, right? Man, I could totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. But they'll be happy. Probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. So worried about Fuyuhiko that I can sleep. Involving himself in Paco's execution like that, so bring all those wounds. Is he really gonna live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened, but that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. Guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, I should do it. Meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and we'll question Monokuma afterward. Definitely gonna find out if Fuki if Fuhiko is safe or not. I mean, Monokuma pretty much keeps his word on things. He doesn't break any of the rules. That's for sure. He's not probably not gonna kill anyone. Maybe. You know, you know, you don't need to like downplay him on that. You know. Good morning, Sonia. Huh? Hi, Jimmy. I'm back. Who do you think I am? I am sorry. That was unintentional. Is it okay to ple uh, please be your usual self? Uh, yeah. That was close. I really was gonna kneel before her. Um. Terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyu Hugo that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I'll wash my face and come back one more time. And then now, then, Tata. -ta. Yep, TTFN, Tata -ta for now. Please go really okay. He's gonna be fine. Can I just? Oh, I can just go straight to the hotel restaurant. We're all gonna check here. See if a certain someone is still here, and yep. Every day, huh? Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I can really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep your sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Or is it just me? Who knows? Oh. Hi, Jimmy, you're already here. Yoko, you're the only one here. What, why are you acting so anxious about? Huh. I'm not just acting anxious. I just, you know, I just happen to be awake so by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. Girl, there's something strange as you tear. Trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again. Yeah, what are you doing? Just happen to be awake. Okay. What? Oh, whoa! What is that? <laughs> what the fuck? The heck is this? Oh, jeez. Panels been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. Bunch of photos pa pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiro take these photos? Uh, but what's with this terrifying ambience? Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> my, my hero is going to be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hiyoko, did you... Uh, hello. Good morning, it's so right to run into you two here. Mm -hmm, what are you looking at? Huh? <coughs> what are these? These horrifying fo photos. I expected that reaction. What happened? I'm not gonna wait for a long grunt. What's up? What's up? It's a brawl. Yo, it's all the ruckus in the morning. 
Hey, Vad, please take a look at these photos. Photos? What the heck? What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Clearly an insult against my hero. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. It's too much to actually treat my hero's photos like this. She's trying her best, guys. Come on. <laughs> everyone at understanding gets shield, but it's probably... Good, day. Good morning, everyone. Good, nom, nom, nomming. Good mongrel. Yeah! What's with those nasty photos? They're giving up a huge, ominous aura. Crazy. Something like this. <laughs> There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? Seriously, it's just... I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Hmm? You're right, there's no way my hero will be happy with this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be angry. She'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. We'll have to search for the criminal later in the meantime. <laughs> fire, shot the fire. We'll, we'll have a grand bonfire so my hero can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is... You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for my hero. You can't burn it. <laughs> mourn my hero? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting my hero. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? <sighs> Thank you, Chiaki. Perhaps. <laughs> Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? My hero's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? It cannot be. What's the person who made this? <laughs> my hero was really, really nice. She probably like me taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> my hero's probably lonely by herself, so I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> Yoko, you. <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Terribly sorry I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Yoko. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I took a little closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decoration. For now. So let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No, it should come off it with us when we get off this island too. It'd be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. Of course not, we can, would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine then, I'll forgive you all except me cat, of course. Oh my. Why are you so strict with me? I see. That's I see. so unexpected. Meow. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so intelligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Yoko has a very kind heart. That's not it! Kind? Oh, come on, it's not like that. Jeez! Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it, don't tease me. <laughs> Yoko's so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you pig faced troll. Why only me? Uh, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's like, it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Really? Feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. And that's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair toward our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Yep. Ugh, that's better. 
I've arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible. A malice clings to my hero even after her death. We'll be sucked in it if we look directly at it. You're the worst. Well, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in hope. A hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brim brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you. <laughs> stand back. I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. <laughs> Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Mm. It looks like it's gonna take a little more time. <laughs> Completely agree. The scene unfolded in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at the at least it was the peaceful scene. You know, the fact that you're all able to talk like that after seeing a murder again. We didn't realize just how short lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. Well, we just hadn't realized it yet. Ooh, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey, man, you sure do eat a lot. Do you ever worry about like choking? Yo, I never get worried. <laughs> you don't. Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um, is he really all right? I was so concerned I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monica's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if I only could have tended to his wounds somehow, I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Now that I got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So? I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monikuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not even dead. Sheesh. What vengeance? You just want to test his skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Oh, see you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's all over now, thanks to you. <laughs> did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> Who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just, what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Uh, Ah, you finally asked me. Hey! Once again, I've defeated another Mono Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey! If you defeated a Mono Beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding. That's right, you're unable to, now able to visit another island. <laughs> Let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma, no more thinking about leaving this island. Love, love. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. New island, huh? Maybe we'll find it. Finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Are you just thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? Mom, well, holy mon ami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um... You see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of the mysterious world and their organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to the island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to the island, that's gotta be it. Hey! I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just, what are you planning? <gasps> it's a great opportunity, it's time you finally filled us in. <gasps> uh, what a dilemma, but uh, that's only, th that's one thing I can't say. Bye-bye! Truly, this is a tragedy of middle man management. <laughs> She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh well, who cares about Monomi? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What do we do? However, I do not think we should ex be exploring when Fuyuhiko's in danger. Hey. 
but we must move forward no matter what despair, when despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into the trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as what Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fluhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's try and find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm. You are right. Fuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. Alright! Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait! So wouldn't it be faster just to beat up the rest of the Mona Beasts and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me! If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on! Don't you think about doing anything reckless? <laughs> Let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. Jeez. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurants. Oh yeah. Alright. There's no one around. Guess we're going to the new island. Hold on. Let's check on our pet. You good? You good. Do you are you gonna level up again? Next growth? Okay. Man, it, it seemed a lot emptier. It's just the same character talking. <laughs> Not a lot left, huh? It doesn't feel like it at least. Alright. New islands. One, two. Whoa, 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 who's this? Oh. Hey, Nakamaru. Hey, wait, you, you're not going to the new island? I'm worried about, I'm worried that Kane is gonna do something reckless about those mono beasts. I'm going to guard the bridges for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Got it. Nakamaru is good quite quite good at taking care of people. I would wonder if that habit that's a habit of being a team manager. Yeah, she was definitely, uh, definitely, um, what's the word? Fighty. <laughs> she really wanted to fight things. Monami is right, Monami, so that was blocking this. This bridge is gone. If we cross the bridge, we should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart, and uh, that overshadowed by any lingering fear and nervousness I felt. Cross the bridge that led to the new island. So this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels like a little danger somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Oh, this is weird. Um... Yeah, we'll go right. I mean, yeah, let's we'll go right. Let's see what the map has. Let's see. Um, we got a uh, movie theater inside. Oh, we have a hospital, music venue, motel. All right, and Electric Avenue. Dude, I remember that song. Hospital. All right. I wonder who's gonna be in here. That and jeez. <laughs> Looks like there's a hospital. This is a hospital's lobby. The ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. Definitely don't want to be a patient here. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry I scared you. Uh, don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But the hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on what's going on with this island? But... I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure what they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> that means I need to go check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. 
and the count frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. Guess that means it's okay to leave the place to her, huh? No. Gundam. I didn't even notice you were here. What the fuck does that say? Jabberwock Hospital? Okay. <laughs> of all people, it seemed I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the very the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of the defeating mark of defeating the devil. Why can't I say that? <laughs> I said too much. Forget what you heard for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. What is this? What is this memo here? Paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's on the hospital notice. There's no one on this island, so who was this written not a notice written for? You're just not gonna read it. Really, you're just not gonna read it. I mean, it's there. You might as well just read it. I'm gonna be more thorough here too. But I missed two Monokumas already in the last island. I mean, I could go back and get them, but that would take time. <laughs> I would take time out of uh, parts unless I just cut them in or something, but impatient room, and consultation room, and beyond this point, right? Or beyond this point, right? It's fine if I leave it to me again. Yeah, whatever. Fine. I'll leave. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Titty Typhoon. <laughs> what kind of name is this? Oh, it's the music venue. This, bu this building with its gaudy, tasteless, and tasteless neon lights obviously looked suspicious. Can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Oh, look, there's a boat over there. Are there any monochromas out here? Is that, is that blood right there? What is that? On top of the roof there? The pink stuff? Probably not blood. Yeah, there's just nothing here. Ah, sh no, I didn't mean to. I wonder who's in here. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Cause this is a music menu, right? Yeah, looks like it. I love music! I never expected to find a music menu. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music menu. I can't help. Huh? Right. Did I just say the same thing twice? Huh? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problemo! Not at all, I'm totally fine. No problemo! <laughs> Did I just say the same toy say that twice again? Crap. You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Sabuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't understand. <laughs> well, okay. If <laughs> you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate. <laughs> leave you to me. Like, let me bite you. I'm tired, I should hurry up and go check out another place. Uh, no, we're gonna talk with Sonia. Amazing. What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco. See? It's where hip youngsters would wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance to their go-go's and lambadas. And I have no clue what Sonia's talking about. <laughs> Even though we told the... Uh, and then we told Ibuki to look around. We're not gonna let uh, Ibuki search everything herself. Let's tr stage. Uh, probably never have a chance to be in the lim limelight. Just walk up there right now. What was that? Piano? <laughs> the baton lighting control panel. Okay. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Do they actually have like a bar? Do they have tequila, tequila and beer? Hmm? Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to go in here. 
It says staff only on the door. Probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. Oh, okay. I guess Abuki isn't looking around. A lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's stage design stuff. Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Paint staff, the stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. Guess there's nothing special here we need to find that we need right now. Nothing. Jeez, look at that yellow. What is that yellow? You see that? What is that? Why did I just see like yellow boxes floating in the air? Okay, now that I'm actually alert, let's actually click on something. There are two step ladders next to each other. Uh, these must be required for a stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film projects. You can see your whole body in this huge full length mirror, probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. And there's carpeting, wallpaper, and even different paints. Probably stuff used for livening the stage, designs, or live performances. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A lot of different musical instruments lined up here. Only strings, though. <laughs> I know the guitar and drums, but there's also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. A lot of stickers with the venue logo placed here. It's likely they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. I feel like I already missed a Monokuma. Somewhere. I bet you I missed a Monokuma somewhere. Got that. Alright, next up. Next place. Just one quick look over again to look for a Monokuma. Now let's get out of here. I don't know which one I chose, but okay. Motel air conditioned. Ooh. Instead of just sleeping at our hotel, we can sleep in the motel. Oh, hey. Small building with guest accommodations and parking lots. In a parking lot. This, this is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them done before in movies, but my first time actually seeing one in person. Are you serious? <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. Just like Hajime's house. You've never even seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't sound out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? We gotta make sure we check out check it out thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go check inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, pray the fool, you may make him useful. What was that supposed to mean? So Connie was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated what pretty treated well. If her run attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Jeez. Run down rusted rotting car. Someone abandoned. Maybe the little start of I keep staring at it. <laughs> is that even a car? It looks like it has three wheels. A bunch of similar looking private rooms. The inside are probably looking the same too dark and slightly, dir slightly dirty, there's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a cr crime movie. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Why are you going to check out any of the rooms at all? No? Okay. No, it's fine. Oh, here's Electric Avenue. Okay, so let's not go there in the movie theater yet. Now how many places are in here, huh? Bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alley. Uh, machines and other parts are cluttered together on display and definitely seems fishy. But wait, with this many machines we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? 
Looks like it's best if I search around here. If only we had a programmer. Oh, I can actually check out every corner here. Let's talk with everyone first. Are you serious? Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be ha happier about being surrounded with so much machinery. Of course not. Don't say something so stupid. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course, I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Do you try to understand how I'm feeling? I have this unexplained conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why? Why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. Ah oh, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them, look inside, but that's how I usually think, right? Oh, man. But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Well, yeah, it's like if you have a hot for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? You want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? That's not normal. That's pretty <laughs> acrob. That's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. You serious? Seriously? Uh. See, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted, pretty much. Yeah. Somehow it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Shaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there was any game consoles in here. Something, sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. So that's what you're doing. Um. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. I don't have any- I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incidents. Yeah, just a second. Okay. Let's go left to right. What is this? So many machines, just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh. I don't really recommend that section. What do you mean? <laughs> Pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All the stuff here, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretaping and recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for rec recording secret videos. Uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monica, am I right? Like, I'm kinda jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonia? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who'll eventually use them. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV to signal isn't reaching here anyway. So a lot of nothing's happening here. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner, like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run-down, they all look like they can still be used. I know, if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, turned it on. It worked? Okay. Try to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. No way it'd be that easy, but well, just when I was about to give up. My eyes noticed a strange icon arranged on the desktop. You saw me X file. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document based on the format. It looks like it's some kind of report about the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Hmm. Scan across the words is played on the screen. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. Students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high. 
that it would settle down someday. Things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. A vandal spread, spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup to taught. It uh, seemed to have much different purposes. However, no matter how what we assumed, uh, we cannot apply reason to the subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposely and malish, malicious. Therefore, it is subversive movement full of despair. Hopespeak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to the their long history. As for the students who survived, they were first to kill each other as a lesson of despair. <laughs> it's no use, the words are too garbled to read it beyond this point. What is this? Boy, tough crowd. Hmm, not normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really angry. Can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, 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 what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. Whole speak Academy getting destroyed. Sounds like something stupid you make up. And, and? What's Hope's Peak Reserve Department? I've never even heard of that before. Wah -wah? Huh? Really? That's weird. A lot of people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? <laughs> I guess you forgot about it, along with the memory of their school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said there's something about students who survived. Is that, is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a sec, you guys. Hey, hey. What the heck have you guys been talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So you can't say something that symbol doesn't make any sense. Who heard about that? Just ask me. Who are these uh, students who survived? I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good at is for being cute. He ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. A lot of electrical appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All these look old. Do they even still work? I guess so, huh? Teratura would have never used his old microwave. He would have probably used this latest kitchen equipment and cooked the whole the world's tastiest dishes. Without those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile. But that's no longer Damn, okay. I didn't expect that. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get it reception, even with all the variety. They may as well be paperweights. Oh, mm, so that's pretty much it. That was a lot. A lot to take in. 